Hello everyone, welcome back to this new video. Today we are building a model about the terrible weapons of World War II. As you could see from the thumbnail, we are making a model for a V2 rocket. I wanted to place this missile in a scene where it was fired from a forest. After some research, I came across a forest called the Staldansen Forest, also known in Dutch as Staldansen Bos. I made this model a year ago, so this is before the Borodino project. That's why some things may look different than they do now. Unfortunately, I can no longer show you the building process of the model, uh, but I make the German headquarters first. These, these figures I'm going to paint and I'm going to tell you some background information beside. So, the background information. The V2 was a real rocket that could take off from a simple hardened platform using a mobile launcher. The use of a mobile launch installation made the V2 extra dangerous, because this weapon was difficult to combat. The original German plan was to launch the V2 rockets from a permanent location. For this they had built a bunker complex in a mountain in northern France, near Saint-Omer, in which the V2 rockets were built. When they were ready, they were wheeled out and could then be launched from a platform in a short time. The Allies bombed this factory numbers of times but were unable to, de to destroy or disable the complex. A week before the V2 rocket factory could be put into use the area was conquered by the Allies and this danger had passed. After that the Germans, the Germans switched to using mobile launchers. For those launch locations a wooded area was sought that could be easily reached by car. In the woods the Germans were able to hide or camouflage the launch installations well. After the Allied advance had come to a halt in the autumn of 1944 and the front had stabilized along the major rivers, the Germans began to attack the Belgian port city, in, in addition to London. So they focused all their missiles at the Belgian port. The Staldansen forest had also been bombed a few times by the Allies to prevent the launch of V2 rockets there. In general, these Allied bombings had little effect. It did cause damage and also Dutch casualties, but the launches of the V2 rockets continued. In the dark of the night, the V2 rockets were transported to ever-changing locations. The transport was by trucks, with the missiles covered with large carpets to keep them secret. It would have been unlikely spectacle for the Westland population if such a V2 was launched. The people did not know rockets at all and had never seen anything like it. The launches were accompanied by a huge noise, a lot of smoke and a huge blade of fire. In 1943 the brave Austrian resistance smuggled complete blueprints of the deadly V2 to the American OSS. A world first. The V2 was a supersonic, supersonic long-range guided missile transportable, transportable and operatable from a mobile platform. The V2, original called Aggregat 4 was the first unma unmanned guided ballistic missile. The German manufacturer WIC was the successor to the V1 and according to a BBC documentary killed up to 9000 civilians and allied with the military personnel. In addition to 12,000 first forced laborers who died in its production. So that was the background information. Now you can watch the video and see me painting the German figures. And at the end I will show you down the result of the V2 rocket and I hope you enjoy the video.
All right, and with painting down all the figures, it has come to an end. We are now placing down the figures onto the model. And in the Borodino project video, the people reacted with put down a barbed wire behind uh, or underneath the shoes. But uh, this was a model from a year ago, so the tip I'm the tip I'm going to be using for the next models, but. Uh, this was a model from a year ago, so we had to do it with the bottles. Alright, I hope you enjoyed watching this video about me making down the German headquarter figures into this V2 rocket model. That's the Staudansen Forest, or the in Dutch called Staudansen Bos, where the Germans fired the V2 rockets to Antwerp or London or another place. But uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>